We get asked a lot whether or not we can make a rafter or trust a top plate connection without using one of these. And the answer is yes. Let's show you how. Code for making this connection, of course, a rafter or truss to top plate, is pretty simple. Two to three nails is usually all that's required. However, good counties and great contractors a lot of times want to see something like a hurricane tie to make that connection a little bit more solid. And that's where a six inch timber lock can come into play and make that connection and make it code compliant. Whether it's a rafter over a double top plate or a truss over a double top plate, regardless of whether or not they're aligned between the studs or directly over, you're taking the six inch timber lock, you're installing it at a 22 and a half degree angle, which is half of a 45. As you're installing it in, it's probably easier when it's over a stud to put it in the seam, start drilling, and then drop it down. Here's how that works. And that's how you're going to install that timber lock when it's directly over the stud. When your rafter or truss is between the studs in an open bay, here's how you're going to do it just a little bit different. You're going to mount it to the underside and you're going to start installing within a half of an inch of this outer face. Take the six inch timber lock, locate directly underneath your rafter or your truss. Basically, start by going directly up and then again, draw your angle to a 22 and a half degree. You can bring that flush or you can leave it a little proud, but either way, you've just made that connection. Important documents for your review are our rafter to top plate and truss to top plate technical bulletins. In these documents, you'll see national code requirements and how to meet them using this method. These have been reviewed and accepted by code officials across the country. In some cases, hurricane prone regions for instance, we do recommend a design professional be consulted. This information can be found on our website or by contacting our technical team at FastenMaster. You asked us if we could replace a hurricane tie and meet code and the answer is yes using a six inch timberline.